What up YouTube fam? Ken Guntan here. So what's going on? So for today's video, I'm going to discuss to you which is the best cardio for you. Is it high intensity interval training or low intensity steady state cardio? Which cardio will burn more calories and will not affect your muscle growth or hypertrophy? We will check on the research and scientific studies with regards to that. So stay tuned on this video, click subscribe, click the bell button, like and share, alright? Look at you, crew not harm, motherfuckers don't know that a kid had bars, check ID, flow, police him down, yo he's acting funny till police come around, you got a new car but you leasing it now, what? all ball main, all this designer, Gucci and Prada, spending a lot on weed and anything I need, I'm trying to smoke but not a fiend, I'm not a jacket to the lean, so fuck all that from Medellin, don't make me start another scene, I grab your mother, make a scream and stab your brother, leave the scene, won't even see the car fleeing, Woo. cop the yo white whip, it stay clean no. How can we compare hit to list or high intensity interval training to low intensity steady state cardio? How can we compare the amount of work or the amount of calories that you can burn with these two kinds of cardio? So first, let's define what is work or what is energy work it's a word generally embodying concepts associated with labor force energy or effort required to produce a specific result you can actually find several definitions of work in physics work is the product of force and displacement displacement is the distance that you cover in a certain direction work or energy has the unit that we all know as calorie so with regards to work or energy there's actually a lot of formula or equation that you can use but with this one we're just gonna use the basic the most simple one which is work is equal to force times displacement or the product of force and displacement you can also say that work or energy is also equal to mass times acceleration times the displacement or the distance that it covers guys so we're going to do some practical application of cardio so we're going to do like half kilometer of low intensity steady state cardio and also half kilometer of high intensity steady, uh, interval training okay and with that we will compare how many calories uh, each will burn which one will burn the most calories so first is a low intensity steady state cardio 2% on the incline speed is just a walking speed of 3.5 kph kilometer per hour so we will do this until half kilometer after that we will try to check how many calories it will burn and then we will move to high intensity interval training and let's compare which one has more calories
So what are the benefits of doing cardio? So here are the benefits of doing cardio. Doing cardio will actually decrease your resting heart rate. It will also decrease your resting blood pressure. Increase muscular endurance. That's why you can last longer in terms of doing marathon. It will also improve your circulation throughout your body. Decreased percentage of your body fat. Decreased stress level, which is the level of your cortisols. And more energy to complete your daily activities with vigor. Aside from what I mentioned, it can also increase your lung capacity and decrease your cholesterol level. Though I mentioned earlier that it will decrease your stress level or cortisol level, a study found that if you increase the intensity of your cardio, it will actually lower your testosterone level or increase your cortisol level. The more intense is your cardio, the more increase in your growth hormone and also your cortisol hormone. So we are 0.21 kilometers. So I think we can extend this to one kilometer. And let's see how many calories we can burn just to let you know that the calories that you burn here that appears on the screen is not accurate really nigga. So the numbers or the digit that appears on the screen or in front of you on the treadmill is not 100% accurate though it is not 100% accurate we can still compare which cardio will burn more calories because it will also use the same metrics so there's not much difference in computing the calories the calories might not be exact or accurate but in terms of the difference of calories that we can burn between low intensity steady state cardio and high intensity interval training it is actually a good method to check which one will burn most we're almost done after 8 minutes and 42 seconds with a speed of 3.5 kph on a 2% incline we finished that half kilometer and burned 30.4 calories okay. with low intensity steady state cardio so this time we are going to do a high intensity interval training So incline at 2%, maybe 3% speed, let's up the speed by 6 and then we'll go up by 8 to 10, okay? So let's see how many calories we can burn with this one. Going up to 10 kph.
comparing this to low intensity steady state cardio this is only 4 minutes and 21 seconds we finished the half kilometer we finished the half kilometer by increasing 6 kph up to 8 kph with 3 percent incline just a recap of what we burned on the low intensity steady state cardio it is only 30 calories but with this we burned 43 calories up almost done. and we're back so right now we are going to react to a YouTube video of Greg Doucette he's not a doctor he's a coach an IFBB pro bodybuilder with a master in kinesiology so I found this video of him regarding list and hit which cardio is better so I'm going to react to some few clips of his video I, actually, I already watched the whole video but I'm going to react to a few clips so that it will not make this video longer okay let's go and watch it you go really hard then you rest two miles let's go insane three miles there's probably a few people in the world that could do that you know run a sub seven minute mile six and a half minute mile while only running for a minute out of it and then walking a few world-class athletes could do that three miles in 20 minutes versus steady state low intensity cardio let's say you walk four miles in an hour you know you're a good clip you're just walking though steady state heart rate 120 that's my feet four miles burns more calories than three miles i already am right already i am right four miles an hour walking is going to burn more calories than sprint walk work distance calories is measured by how much work you did you do more work you put out more wattage more mets whatever you want to think about it by traveling farther if you go four miles you require more energy than going three miles really nigga is that hard to understand how much you weigh, 200 pounds, carried a certain distance, requires a certain amount of horsepower, whatever you want to think. If you go three miles, it's less calories than four. Calories is how much energy you get from food that you're eating. You need more energy from food to go four miles than three. It's simple, it's done. I just proved it really, 100% right okay, there. Okay, we are gonna boss on that. So Greg said that Three miles of sprinting will not actually burn more than four miles of just walking so he said also that the more distance you cover the more calories you burn so remember Work is equal to force times distance. So he only thinks about the distance and not about force. If the force that a person exerted is so great, it can actually cover up for the calories that it can burn. Okay? So, 
if we make both distance equal same person same distance and then first trial he will try to do just walking for the same distance let's say one kilometer and then the other one the other uh, the second trial he will try sprinting for one kilometer sprinting will actually burn more calories because you exerted much more force when you sprint more force more work more calories that you burn okay so I totally disagree with Greg with that so regarding our video we can clearly see that high intensity interval training burns more calories than this which is low intensity steady state but the problem with high intensity interval training is that your recovery will actually suffer it will actually affect your recovery especially when you're also lifting weights so if you're trying to build muscle as well you're lifting weights regularly I'm not suggesting you to do high intensity interval training or hit on the day of your lifting or your training I suggest that you go for low intensity steady state cardio that will not affect your recovery for the low intensity steady state cardio to burn more calories all you need to do is to move further move um, a long distance okay with much longer duration of cardio you can also make some moderate intensity and after a few moderate intensity you just jump into the low intensity cardio it will not actually affect your recovery unlike doing high intensity interval training so with that all being said thank you for watching and please subscribe click the bell button like and share and also watch my previous video here and another video here and see you next time I'm out